Greetings, Rashi Narainsing here, trans activist, author, and actress. Currently on season two of Botch, so check it out. Okay, so like I'm sure many people around the world have been doing, I have been watching the Pope. Uh, he was in Cuba for the last couple days, and then now he's arrived here in the United States today. And in watching him, I started to think about the late, great Mother Teresa. Well, you know, the Pope is head of the Roman Catholic Church, and Mother Teresa was a Roman Catholic nun. She was here on the planet from August 25th, 1910 to September 5th, 1997. And while here, she did wonderful works of charity. Uh, her mission was based in India. It was called the Missionaries of Charity. And actually, they are still functioning as a mission uh, over there in India. But uh, she would say that by blood, she was Albanian. Uh, by citizenship, she was Indian, and by religion, she was a Roman Catholic nun. That's to quote her. But I think she sh basically transcended all of that because she was just such a wonderful example of what true charity means for all of us. And um, I admired her so much, and she truly touched my, my soul. Uh, in... 1997, I felt led to reach out to her. So I wrote a letter of gratitude, thanking her for all of the wonderful work that she had done here on the planet. And um, I, along with the letter, I sent a tape with some of my original music. I sent some poetry um, that I had written. And I sent some information on some of the humanitarian work that I had been doing here in America. Now, my hope and prayer was that she'd at least get my letter and read how she touched my life and how I felt about the wonderful work she had been doing. But to my absolute amazement, shortly before she passed away in 1997, I received this sweet little note from Mother Teresa. And I know it's hard to see it with the lighting and the camera, but simple note. And you could, she even took the time, even though I'm sure her health was declining by that point, to sign it. Uh, and it, it, it's personally signed to me. And basically she said, you know, for me to continue doing the wonderful work that I've been doing. And she just encouraged me and said that she would pray for me and she wished God's blessings upon me. And I tell you, uh, it's going to be almost 20 years and... Um, 2017. But I will probably hold on to this little note until the day I die. Um, it's simple, but yet it's so profound. And it has inspired me through a lot of the hard times. You know, when, when, I've, when I was going through my difficult moments, uh, sometimes I would think about this, receiving this letter from Mother Teresa, and it would just lift me up and, you know, give me the inspiration to continue on. So it's just amazing how something so simple can transcend so far, and it can do so much. And I think that we all need to remember that. It's oftentimes the simple things in life that uh, you can do to touch one another in such profound ways. So this is my Mother Teresa story, and I, um, I just felt... Uh, inclined to share with all of you, uh, you know, with the Pope coming here to America. It just got me reminiscing about 1997 and when I connected with the late, great Mother Teresa. Love, peace, and blessings.